What's up, y'all? <laughs> you know what time it is. It's about to be that. Broly has pretty much gone over the edge in Dragon Ball Kakumi, and I honestly don't know what anyone can do about it at this point. Dula thinks he's him for some reason because he smoked Chile a couple of chapters ago, but now the entire galaxy is just subject to this unthinkable destructive power and this is probably the single worst thing that's happened since the takeover of all those kevin hart memes ever since then it's just been kind of a slaughterhouse for the saiyans of universe 6 trying to stop this rampage i've never really seen this level of violence in dragon ball before and this outburst from broly feels like it could only be compared to his dbz counterpart the way he's just brutalizing everyone left and right everyone in sight pretty much but Dula and Amaran definitely plan to take full advantage of this chaos in chapter 18. As the Saiyan who just lost his head literally falls lifelessly to the ground, the others attempt to maintain their composure, but in the face of such brutality, even for them, it's honestly difficult. Admiral Lyric would even shed a tear on the battlefield. Hey, you big fat slob, he yells. This certainly garners Broly's attention, even if he's a homicidal maniac right now, because body shaming is still hurtful. Is that all you got, Lyric Roars? What are you trying to prove by attacking only inexperienced soldiers? You're not strong enough to attack more powerful fighters, he declares. This would cause the rest of the Saiyans to panic, asking just what does the Admiral think he's doing? Shut up, the Admiral roars back. I know what I'm doing. Is that all Chile was worth to you? He continues to Broly. Get out of here now, he screams to the rest as Broly goes nuclear once again. He appears in front of the Admiral within the blink of an eye. The scariest thing here definitely has to be this face because it looks like my guy is like melting over here. He lands in front of the Admiral who jumps away quickly into the air, but Broly is still on his trail and he reaches for the skies to subdue his opponent. This is when Kale finally arrives back on the battlefield and jumps between Broly and the Admiral, telling him to stop immediately. Kale? They reply in shock. Broly will let out a roar that nearly blows her away, but through it all, she tries to get him to understand that it's her and he has to calm down. She would get face to face with him and plead for him with innocent eyes to regain himself. Please. Give me your hand, she says to him, as for a second, it starts to look like she's getting through to him as he reaches out his hand. All of a sudden, however, Broly would grab her by the wrist, nearly crushing her entire forearm in the process, and slings Kale into the air with extreme force. Kale would catch herself in the air, and with that same arm that had been nearly crushed only a moment ago, she begins to prepare a counterattack. Never in a million years did she think that she would be in a battle with Broly today, though for the sake of Universe 6 and all of the Saiyans here, he has to be stopped. Kale fires a full power energy ball at him of massive proportions, but nothing seems to be impossible for Broly at this moment. He sticks a singular hand out and grasps Kale's attack that seems to be pebble sized in comparison to Broly, but at this moment what he does next shocks even her. What? He's returning my move, she gasps, as in the next instant, her full power energy blast is hurling right back in her direction after an aggressive toss from Broly. It rips through the sky and homes in on her as the other Saiyans lie in wait for the outcome of this battle. Will Kale succeed in doing anything against him, one of the Saiyans asks? He's become like an unstoppable beast, the exact representation of what our king hates in the Super Saiyan. But he's our ally, the Admiral reminds him, and Kale knows this more than anyone else, so let's trust her. We would then return to Amaran and Vegeta for the first time in a bit now, as Amaran is all but gleefully laughing at this chaos. This is what I asked Dula. The greatest strategists know how to turn any situation to their advantage. It's all a matter of foresight, he says. You like being a smartass like that, huh? Vegeta spits back, as in the next moment, he's leveling Amaran with a punch across the face that almost destroys his mask in the process. Don't think for a second that I've forgotten that you sent one of your damn henchmen to track down my wife Bulma, he roars. I don't plan on forgiving you. And yet, everything seems to be going my way from the moment I set foot on this planet, Amaran snickers, as for the first time ever, we catch a glimpse of the sinister being hiding behind that mask, his grin exposed to Vegeta as he said this. 
I won't play your game forever, believe me, Vegeta declares, as his Super Saiyan Blue aura begins to flare up again. Amaran maintains that psychotic grin, however, as he replies, I can't wait to see your full potential, Vegeta. Round 2 seemingly about to start any second now, but on the other battlefield, Kel is instantly grabbed by the face and slammed into the ground by Broly. She fights for her life and roars back against Broly's awesome might, but in the next moment, he's already taken his attention off of her. Super Saiyan 2 Kale means nothing to Broly as he's already turned his gaze to the next target. Kale would latch herself onto his leg and then next, she's pinned him down and locked his leg behind himself as she warns him to not move another muscle. At this point, she's gone into her full legendary form as well, but Broly is still spazzing about. He turns around and attempts to mow her down with a mouth beam, but she's able to duck under it and grabs his face. Listen to me, Broly. Calm down, I beg of you. He would close his mouth and once again, it looks like that titanium wall of rage might be cracking a little bit. She questionably powers back down to her base form as a gesture to him and in a last ditch attempt to get him to come to his senses. It's me, Kale. Hear the sound of my voice, brother. We've done it before. I know you can do it. The other Saiyans are freaking out, calling her insane for even approaching him in her base state like that, but the Admiral reminds them to trust her. Kale continues to crack through Broly's aggressive shell, and as he begins to slowly calm down, it looks like they start to make a special connection with one another. She would begin to hear the whispers of someone shouting for Chile as it seems she's entered Broly's inner psyche somehow. In front of her, she would come across Broly, hunched over, sitting in the middle of this strange place. She tries to talk to him, asking, can you hear me? I know you're struggling to not lose control, Broly. I know because the energy bonds I hold you with are no match for your strength. Yet, your body is pinned to the ground, which is proof that you're trying to pull yourself together. So take back control while you still can. But it would stun all of us when Broly would reply with a firm no. What? But you must, she pleads, not understanding yet. Broly firmly reminds her though that he has to pay first. He will pay. That demon will pay, Broly, she promises him. But I just can't let you cook. You won't just attack him. You're killing everyone, and we can't afford to lose anyone else before the war even starts. Broly would give her one final warning, however, telling Kel that if you don't agree, then I'll just do it anyway. As his rage has become so potent, it's even manifested in this realm which she was able to penetrate somehow. Broly would break out of the hold on his psyche that Kel had momentarily subdued him by, and she transforms immediately, knowing that she's lost the battle within and prepares to defend herself. Kale tries to prepare another full power energy ball above her head, determined to stop Broly. She begs for him to come to his senses, but I think at this point, after what's happened, Broly is probably just fine destroying everything and even dying right here as long as he kills Dula also. Unfortunately for Kale, She's just another fly in his way as Broly shows zero mercy whatsoever. Equal rights, equal lefts, hands rated E for everyone. If you don't get that bullshit out of my face, bitch. He floored her shit, knocking her out of her transformation completely in cold blood as the chapter would come to a shocking close.